Ohio and Miami under the lights for some midweek action. It doesn't get much better than that. And the Bobcats couldn't have asked for much of a better start. Ohio outscored the Red Hawks 14 zip in the first half. Curtis Rourke got the start for Ohio and had a career high three passing touchdowns, two of which came in that first half. I think I said last week that I was my confidence was continuing to build with with how much I've been throwing, and it just continues to to grow and stuff. And um, it, it also makes it easier for guys like him to make plays as well in, in the in the run and the pass game. Um, and so we're able to use all the weapons that we got on the offensive side. The Ohio defense held an opposing offense scoreless in the first half for the first time since the 2018 Frisco Bowl. Uh, I would say we did a very good job stopping the run. That's one of the things we uh, we emphasize all week, stopping the run, and make them one-dimensional. So I would say in the first half, we did a pretty good job of doing that. And obviously, throughout the rest of the game, we got to do a better job. And then to making plays and not letting the quarterback go for it. Ohio was up 28-0 in the third, but Miami went on the comeback trail, outscoring the Bobcats 33-7 the rest of the way. Miami's got a lot of pride. Coach Martin's done a great job there. I've got some co I have some close personal friends on the staff. You know, I've known them for many, many years. So you, you just you know they're going to come back. The Brett Gabbert and Jack Sorensen connection was working all night as Gabbert found Sorensen for a total of 283 yards, and that was capped off by a big 82-yard touchdown strike to bring the Red Hawks back within two points. But the Monterey Tuggle saved the day for the Bobcats with under two minutes left with a big touchdown run into the north end zone to secure a big win for the Bobcats. Yeah, you know, just getting caught up in the moment and, you know, knowing what the situation was. I was just trying to, you know, just trying to put points on the board and, uh, you know, just win a close game. You know, like we've had a, we've had a lot of tough breaks, so I was just trying to make sure that we, we finish. It was indeed a happy Tuesday for Ohio because the 2021 edition of the Battle of the Bricks belongs to the Bobcats. The Bobcats look to keep things rolling at Eastern Michigan next Tuesday.